Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at how you can host your website on AWS for free in less than 3 minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial you're going to need two things. The first is that you must already have an AWS account. If you don't already have one, it's very quick and free to create. You still need to put in your credit card in case you exceed the free plan, which won't be the case for us today. And secondly, we're assuming that you have a site with an index.html, so if you're using a React, Angular or Vue framework, you need to build your project before doing this tutorial. So, for example, in my case, I simply have this very basic index.html site with a GPG image. To get started, go to the AWS console. In the search bar, type S3 and click on it. Once there, simply click on Create Bucket. To start with, I'm going to call my bucket Track It S3 Tuto, but you can call it whatever you like. A little further down, uncheck the Block All Public Access box and check the box that says you know the risk. And that's all for here. You can scroll down to the bottom and click on Create Bucket. Once you've done that, you will be redirected to the screen where you'll be able to see all your buckets. So you can click on the Create you've just created. To activate Static Site Hosting, go to the Properties tab and scroll down. In the Static Website Hosting box, click on Edit. You can check Enable and in the Index document, you can write index.html. Then scroll down and click on Save Change. In the Permission tab, you can scroll down to the Bucket Policy and click on Edit. Here you can put the policy I put in the description of the video and replace the place where it says Change here with the name of your bucket, in my case, Track it S3 Tuto. And on that's done, you can click on Save. Go to the Object tab, and here we will upload our files, so click on Upload. Then you just have to drag and drop your files, and once you've done that, scroll down to the bottom and click on Upload. You will get a little loading box, and once it's finished, you can click on Close. Then you can go to the Properties tab, and at the very bottom, you will see a link. And that's it. Our site is now available to the public, or in any case, to anyone who gets this link. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments, we will be happy to answer them. Don't hesitate to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.